Hey, it's Nick, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys Lego Transformers number 32, Soundwave from Revenge of the Fallen, in his satellite mode. So, this is my second attempt at a Lego Transformers Soundwave, not from Revenge of the Fallen, because this is the first one that I've made and successfully succeeded in a succeeding way from succeeding from the United States. Seceding? Sure, let's just go with that. So I'll give you a little 360. So he does have those lower satellite phalanges, and he also does have laser beak, but he's not useful. So let's get into some comparisons now. Because of the way that I have everything set up here, I'm not going to be able to do the funny Jobby the Hong thing, but maybe in robot mode. So here's a minifigure compared to them, compared to Soundwave. Definitely not accurate. This guy was made three months ago when I did not figure out how I was going to do my scale. And this is going to be standard vehicle. So he'd be roughly scout class. So getting into transformation, we're going to want to remove him from his stand so that you can see him better. So let's get into transformation. So getting into transformation, you're first going to want to move this section down, kind of out of the way, so that you have enough room to lift up his arms so that he can smack people because that's how this works and now this goes up now these sections will come down and form his backpack so next we're going to move down his legs without breaking anything that'd be quite nice move this piece down move that down organize his backpack and there is Soundwave in robot mode. So you can't really see him right now because he's so dang short. Now this is a problem I had with recording some other Lego Transformers. I was going to record a video for Thundercracker but because of how small he is in both modes it's kind of hard to just film him. So turning him around like this you can see his big old backpack which doesn't help with supporting his weight so that's why I have I have him set up against my glorious green screen very professional so comparing him to some other things I sadly won't be able to do the funny Jobby the Hong thing he is uh about half as he's about twice as tall as a minifigure, here is a standard car, just like that, and heck, let's just throw in a little Legends class Sentinel Prime, he's roughly Legends sized. So that'll be it for the video, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.